Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 3.7. Today's lesson is estimate decimal sums and differences. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to make reasonable estimates of sums and differences. Please pause to write the lesson objective in your notebook. Let's begin with the unlock the problem. It says, a singer is recording a CD. The lengths of the three songs are 3.4 minutes, 2.78 minutes, and 4.19 minutes. About how much recording time will be on the CD? It's always good to underline the question we are trying to solve. The question is at the end. About how much recording time will be on the CD? And I'm going to circle the word about because when we see the word about, it usually means that we're going to estimate. I'm also going to circle my numbers. We have 3.4, 2.78, and 4.19. Now let's read in the box here to help us remember. It says, to round a number, determine the place to what we want to round. So in fourth grade, we use the rule that we underline the digit and then we look next door. All right, now we know if the digit is less than five, so if it's four or less, then it stays the same. But if it's five or more, then we round up. So we're using the same rules that we learned in fourth grade. Back over here in our instructions, it says we're going to round to the nearest whole number. A whole number means that it is in front of the decimal. And then we're going to add. So you can see we rounded 3.4 to the number 3. Because if we look at 4, 4 means that we're going to stay the same, or in this case, round to the nearest whole number. So we would call that 3.0, or just 3. Let's practice with 2.78. So we're going to round to the nearest whole number. So we underline the digit and look next door. Next door I see a 7. 7 is greater than 5, so that means I'm going to round up. So 2.78 is going to change into 3 because I'm rounding up the 2 to the next biggest number. Our last number is 4.19. I underline the digit and look next door. Next door I have a 1. 1 is smaller than 4, so I'm going to stay the same. So 4 stays the same. Then it says that we are going to add. So 3 plus 3 plus 4 is 10. So there will be about 10 minutes of recording time on the CD. Let's continue our learning with the Try This section. It says we are going to use rounding to estimate. In Try This A, it says round to the nearest whole dollar. So again, a whole dollar has no cents left over, so we only want before the decimal. So if we look at 27.95, the nearest whole dollar, we would look at this place value here, 7, and then we look next door. Next door I see a 9. 9 is going to make me round up, so 27.95 is going to round to 28. In our next number, we have 11.72. So underline the digit and look next door. I see we have a 7. 7 is greater than 5, so that also is going to round up. 11 is going to change into 12. And now it says we're going to subtract. 8 minus 2 is 6, and 2 minus 1 is 1. So we're left over with 16. So the nearest dollar amount of 27.95 minus 11.72 is about $16. Let's try, try this B. 
try this B says we're going to round to the nearest $10 and then subtract. So when we look at the nearest $10, we need to look in the tens place. So in the tens place, I have a two in my first number. So I underline the digit and look next door. Seven is going to make me round up. So 27.95 is going to change into a 30. Then we look at the tens place of our second digit and I look next door and I see a one. One makes me stay the same. So that means that this number is gonna stay the same, but the one after it is going to change into a zero because I'm rounding to the nearest $10. And 11 is closer to 10 than it is to 20. Now I'm going to subtract. 30 minus 10 is 20. So the nearest $10 27.95 minus 11.72 is about $20. At the bottom it says, do you want to overestimate or underestimate when you use the co total cost of items you want to buy? Well, I think if I needed to spend $27 and $11, then I would want to overestimate and make sure that I had something closer to 20 rather than 16. Because if I only brought $16, then I might not have enough. So I'm going to say when I estimate money, It is better to overestimate because it's okay to have leftover money, but it's not okay to have no money left over to run out of money. That would be bad. In the first two examples that we did with rounding, we rounded to the nearest whole number and the nearest 10. We can also round decimals using what we call benchmarks. The benchmarks that we have are zero, 0 0.25, like a quarter, 25 cents, 0 0.50, like 50 cents, or half, 0 0.75, like three quarters, or one. So if we look down here below, we're going to use benchmarks to estimate 0 0.18 plus 0 0.43. It says we're going to locate and graph a point on the number line and identify which benchmark is closer. So they have done 0 0.18 for us. So 0 0.18 would be less than 0 0.25, but more than zero. But if I look at which one of these it is closer to, it is closer to 0 0.25. So I'm picking the number that it is closer to. Our next number is 0 0.43. Well, 0 0.43 would be less than 0 0.50, because 43 is less than 50, but it would be greater than 0 0.25. So it would be about here on the number line, 0 0.43. And when I look at again, which one is closer, I'm looking between 0 0.25 and 0 0.50. And I think it is closer to this side than it is to the other side. So it is closer to 0 0.50. And in our original problem, it said that we were going to add them. So now we're gonna take the two benchmarks that we rounded to and add them. So this one's gonna go here, 0 0.25. And this one's gonna go next to it, 0 0.50. 
And then when we add them together, 25 plus 50 is going to give us an estimate of 0 0.75. So if I have about 18 cents plus about 43 cents, then when I add them together, I get about 75 cents. So 0 0.18 plus 0 0.43 is about 0 0.75. Example two has us using benchmarks again, but this time we're going to subtract. So let's identify the numbers that they gave us on the number line. 0 0.76 is like 0 0.75, just a tiny bit bigger. So on the number line, it would be about right here. It is between 0 0.75 and Here's one benchmark, here's our next one. So the next one would be one. But it is closer to 0 0.75. So that's what I'm gonna round it to, 0 0.75. Our next one is 0 0.22. 0 0.22 would be less than 0 0.25, but close to it. So it would be about here on the number line. 0 0.22. So it is between 0 and 0 0.25, but it is closer to 0 0.25. And now remember, I take my two estimates and I subtract them. So 0 0.75 minus 0 0.25, so those are like quarters. If I have three quarters and I take away one quarter, that would give me two quarters, which would be 50 cents, 0 0.50. So the difference between 0 0.76 and 0 0.22 is 0 0.50. All right, fifth graders, time for your lesson activity. Your lesson activity today has two parts. In the two parts, you are going to estimate the sum, that means add, and then estimate the difference. In order to do these, you are going to round to the nearest whole, so that means no decimal, number. This, these two problems should be done in your math notebook. Great job, fifth graders.